So good old DJI has came up with another way to take my money. Introducing the DJI Air Unit 03. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Adventure FPV. My name is Lee. Today is July 26, 2022, and the FCC just had new filings for three DJI products. One of them being the Avada Cinewoop style drone, which I'm not too interested in at this time, unless they drop some sort of sweet like trailer or something, then I wanna buy one, but you know. But the other two releases that accompanied that were a new set of goggles and a new air unit. This air unit is called the O3, which I'm assuming is OcuSync 3, which would be amazing. All right, let's go ahead and get some of the trolling out of the way because I know it's gonna happen. Okay, we're good. Now me personally, I'm not really in the market to buy a new air unit at the moment because I'm already invested in the V2 and V1 ecosystem. So I'm not really interested in spending a bunch of money to upgrade existing drones if a new system comes out tomorrow. But I am interested in potentially upgrading in the future if this new system brings new features like higher video quality downlink, which I'm sure it will, and also longer distance. If I can get more penetration. That's what she said. <laughs> and also longer range. That is something that interests me because I do a lot of mountain diving and things like that. And I also do client work, so it'd be great for something like that. So just to be clear, I don't have a release date for this drone. I do have some speculation that it'll probably be later in the year. Um, just based off of the FCC filing, if you take a look at the release date of the external photos, the proprietary and confidential photos that have been submitted with the filing, they look like they're actually gonna come out in January of next year. So typically when you see something like this, the photos will be released closer to the release date of the product. I could be wrong about everything in this video, so if I am, I'm sure you're gonna grill me in the comments. You suck! But like I said, it looks like it's gonna be later in this year or maybe early in next year. Now I'm going to leave the link to the DJI 03 FCC filing in the description below. If you guys see something in there that I didn't see, please drop a comment down below and let me know what other technical data maybe I overlooked or what you can find out from reading some of that boring information. The O3 Air Unit will support 2.4 and 5.8 gigahertz, but the 2.4 looks like it's going to be reserved for a remote control function only. Now I did see mentioned somewhere in there that you weren't able to switch the channels. Uh, the end user wasn't gonna be able to do that. Now I don't know if that means on the fly or what exactly that means, but there was some commentary about that in the documentation. It also looks like this unit is going to natively support 26.4 volts, which is great. Uh, you can run a overcharged 6S battery on this without having any issues. The last unit was actually only going up to 17.6, and you had to use a BEC or other mod uh, so you didn't fry the air unit. It also looks like this unit is going to come equipped with two antennas like the original air unit, so that's also a plus. There was mentioned in the documentation that the antennas were going to be fixed, uh, and they they couldn't be removed or something to that effect. Let's hope that's not true because we definitely wanna be able to replace our antennas in case of a crash or something like that. So we'll just have to wait and see on that one as well. Now in this filing, there is a mention of 60 channels. Now I don't know if that's a true 60 channels or just the radio frequency on there, but there is a mention of 60 channels, which would be crazy if there was that many channels on this radio. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments. So like I said, this is just information that I was able to find on the FCC website. I encourage you to go look for yourself and see if there's any additional information that I overlooked. I just wanted to present the information that I had available to me through the FCC's website. It's not a lot, but it was a little bit and it got me excited for maybe where it's going in the future um, and some of the releases that will be coming out. So as I said, I'm not really in a hurry to do any sort of upgrades at this moment with my gear. I'm happy with what I have. There's lots of other great systems coming out now as well, but it is something I was interested in. And I thought you guys might be as well. So if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up consider subscribing to the channel or becoming a channel member. Thanks for sticking around till the end of the video. We'll see you in the next one.